Now to the excessive and unrelenting heat. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration warns the heat will continue through August. More than 16 states are under heat alerts today as severe weather threatens the south and northeast. ABC's Morgan Norwood has more. The unrelenting heat tightening its grip across multiple states, putting more than 100 million Americans on alert for rising temperatures. The punishing heat also producing severe weather. In Michigan, it was that freaky. Massive hail the size of golf balls. It was literally like somebody was in the sky and chucking them down because they, the pressure that they were coming down was, I couldn't believe it. And in Ohio, cleanup underway after strong storms pulled down trees and power lines. A flash flooding warning in Huntsville, Alabama. Swollen creeks spilling into streets. Out west, the relentless heat still hovering over Phoenix, Arizona. The city in its 22nd day of temperatures above 110 degrees, making for difficult firefighters. First responders race to extinguish this massive fire overnight. Down in Mississippi, the heat bringing the harvest to a halt. Farmers now on edge. The nighttime temperature on tomatoes needs to be in the 70s, which we're not getting right now. So that that will hurt our yields, you know, later on. In Jacksonville, Florida, the dangerous heat proving deadly. A babysitter is charged with manslaughter after police say she inadvertently left a 10-month-old baby girl inside a car with temperatures in the mid-90s. Further south of Miami, the already sweltering city, in for a one-two punch as Saharan dust moves into South Florida, making for hazy skies and even hotter temperatures. The more we become consumed by it, our air quality worsens, then it'll become a bigger risk factor for us as a community. Meanwhile, the heat wave that we're seeing, it's global and it's sparking deadly wildfires in Greece. And this extreme weather is exactly what scientists have been warning about, right? That human caused climate change is making the heat more intense, triggering this climate crisis. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.